No, I'm new here. I'm just looking around. Who are you? I'm Belinda, and I work here at the infirmary. I'm afraid I'm not quite the healer that, that Crosby or Friar Masses are, but I try to confront, to comfort the wounded and the dying. It's the least I can do, and I make sure to wear a very low-cut shirt so that they are extremely comforted. It seems to work very well. It's nice and loud. This is the tale you seek. It is. Uh, that is why I clicked on it. There's an interesting thing going on with the mouse, but this wasn't happening, like, in the game. So I'm just... I'm not worrying about it yet. Okay, it's just for, for now, I've only seen it on the character creation screen. But we'll see. <laughs> um, <clears throat> right, so I obviously don't know. Um, ooh. <laughs> Interesting physique. I feel like it's weird not to be the cheesy looking guy, though. <clears throat> Gray, bread, brown, blonde. Um. <laughs> long hair. I think long hair. Mm -hmm. Beard? Yes. Okay, uh, so we can either be a fighter training play, uh, fighter training places an emphasis on your character's combat ability or character gains 5 strength and 10 combat points. Scout training emphasizes your character's stealth talents. Your character gains 10 stealth and 5 coordination points. Magician's training places an emphasis on your character's spell casting, 10 mysticism points, and receives the charge spell. <clears throat> It's very tempting to do Magician just because, like, I'm probably only going to play this game one time. <laughs> I don't know anything about if it's, like, extremely hard, though, or what. Because <laughs> I'm just wondering, you know, if it's a stupid idea. Sometimes in, in games, in old games, you don't really want to pick the mage first, the first time you play, but... I don't know. Maybe it's fine. Otherwise, the scout sounds kind of fun. Obviously, fighter would be fun too, but... I'm, I'm sort of interested to see what kind of spells we could get up to. I don't know what's going on with Brad. So, I'm thinking for our name... I'm thinking Sir Cheese. But... Maybe not if it's a mage, though. Maybe something slightly different if it's a magician. <sighs> I think, well, so far of the ones you guys have suggested, definitely Dan's is the cheesiest. Cheese of the Magnificent. Let's see if it fits, though. It might not fit. No. <laughs> nope. Cheese. Cheese. Cheese whiz. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I've outdone myself. <laughs> All great suggestions. Should I s I think I guess I'll spell it sort of correctly. All right, um, and then we have points here. So if I'm going to do some melee, I probably would want some strength, right? Maybe a little more constitution. Uh, combat represents a character's fighting ability. Damage modifiers. Yeah. Can I remove points? No. Uh, physical strength. How much a character damage a character flicks? It, it flicks. <clears throat> Movement, recovery, resistance modifiers. Yeah, obviously that's health. Charm. Ooh. Buying and selling items. Okay. So apparently we're just going to be a bit of a kind of an all around kind of guy, I guess, at first. Uh, 
I don't know. We'll, we'll just try it out. Okay, here we go. So this is the reading part, all right? So. <laughs> Are you ready? <clears throat> Get ready, because this is going to be serious. Foggy and warm night, traveling slowly up the Vol River, the wind has died some. So the crew are back at the oars. Captain Nico had me bailing for much of this evening, but we're still taking on water. We should reach Avalon before daybreak. If not, I may have to swim there. The captain has been silent since the battle. A dozen of his men were killed defending the Lady Ailey and her cargo. It wasn't, it almost wasn't enough. The shaman's fire blew a hole in the port side, close to the water level, but Nico's skill kept us alive and pulled us through the ambush. For the last eight years, my friends and I have heard only tales of Avalon, fortress of the kings. We made games of the struggle going on there and throughout Orion. I was Sir Roth Hildebrand, and Tarl was King Tortain. We would act out the great battles of the coalition, and Tarl would die to Tortain's heroic death. Tortain's heroic death. At the end of play, we would get up, laugh, and return to our chores. It all seems so silly now as we drift into the shadow of Avalon. The Lady Aile was the only ship that made it here. Fate had me aboard her. Hundreds of other sailors and mercenaries weren't so lucky. They rest now at the bottom of Vol River more victims of the invading Shahul. When news of this disaster reaches home, I know Mother will think that I am dead. She is always so quick to assume the worst has happened. When I told her I was going to Avalon to bring the news of Father's death to Corvus, she questioned how I even knew he was alive. I think that was one of, my, one of the reasons I left. I had to know if my brother still lived. It's been months since we heard anything from him and years since I've ever seen him. With the fortress a few hours away, I'm not sure which would be worse to hear. That he has perished, or that he has suffered for so long? Even now, having just cheated death, I can't resist the excitement. Before this, I had left our father's land only a few times. Now I sail into the heart <clears throat> of a desperate contest with visions of glory and heroism blinding me. I have never felt as young and green as I do now. When I am honest with myself, I know the real reason I abandoned my mother and our father's estates. It's not for something as selfless as bringing important news to my brother, or learning the truth of his fate to bring back to my mother. I have come here because deep inside of me, in a place I like to believe I have outgrown, there still lives a boy. This boy still dreams of fame, triumph, and courage. The man I am becoming will have to pay for that boy's imagination. I pray I can deal with the consequences of my decision. Even if I wanted to return home, I don't think I could. The Shahul are everywhere in this part of Orium. I don't think that even Captain Nico would brave another journey down the river. Besides, I suspect the wreckage of the other ships would make a return trip impossible. I have no choice but to become part of the struggle here and fight Mithras. It is either that or hide in the dark corner of Avalon and starve until the war comes to a conclusion. When we get there, I will find Corvus and join whichever unit will have me. I may be young and untried, but I will make a place for myself among the heroes of Avalon. <clears throat> this morning broke foggy, but the fog cleared shortly after sunrise. I had just come up from bailing below deck when the last thick fog bank broke and the walls of Avalon appeared in the distance. No one cleared when the Lady Ale washed slowly into the harbor. I could see amazement and confusion on the faces of the crowd. They wondered how we had made it to Avalon at all. Given the condition of the ship, they wondered what they would eat tonight. We had a few sacks of grain and some cheese, but not enough for the thousand of gaunt faces we could see from the docks. Uh, an eerie silence descended and all of the greeters just wandered away to consider the gravity of their situation. I was afraid to begin asking about Corvus right away. I was afraid of what I might find out. 
My worries were misplaced. It so happened that he was waiting for the supply fleet with the rest and organized me immediately. Recognized me immediately. <laughs> he has become a respected figure in Avalon, especially among Illithrians. He is bigger than I remembered him, probably from months of wielding the longsword hanging at his side. His mail was ragged and he had won a, worn a, score, a scar on his neck from some battle. I didn't have time to ask him how. Corvus took me to his quarters in the outer keep. The officer who shared the room with him had been killed in a recent assault on the walls, so Corvus felt there would be no objections with me taking his bunk, at least until I found a unit to join. Our reunion was cut short when one of the castle pages arrived to summon Corvus to a council of some kind. He left, assuring me we would have plenty of time to catch up. No one was going anywhere after all. <gasps> Little brother, I wish I could say that I am glad you are here, but a besieged keep is something that no one should endure. However, it is good to see you again. How are mother and father? That is why I have come. Hmm. What should what should Jesus' voice be? I don't know. That is why I have come to find you, brother. Father passed away six weeks ago. Oh, spirits, I feared I would never see him again. Little brother, but I thought it would be me waiting on the other side for him. We must drink to father's memory when I return. Your return? Where are you going? I have to ride out immediately on a raid with General Overon. We were waiting to see if the supply fleet could make it through the blockade before we took the risk. But since the Lady Ele Ele was the only one to make it through, it seems that we must indeed resort to more drastic measures. Do you have a room for another s Do you have a room for another sword? Slow down, little brother. Horses are in short supply and we need to move fast tonight. I've pulled some strings and obtained a commission for you, but that's all our family name will get you here. You'll have to prove yourself to General Roth and Captain Kelverick on your own before it will be anything more than a piece of paper. So, I'm forced to wait here uselessly until you return, then. Not likely. If I know General Roth, he has already asked the commander of lists to give you an evaluation. Just remember that the monks can do wonders for minor injuries. Unless your skills have increased drastically since we last met, you will become very familiar with their faces. And before I forget, show your commission to the Outer Keep Quartermaster for some gear before you report to duty. He is located off the corridor just north of here. I will, brother. Ride well, and we will talk more when you get back. Or when you return. I have a feeling we won't be seeing Corvus for a very long time. I thought the game was going to be like, uh, I thought the plot was going to be the, like, uh, looking for him, but then he's just, he's just here, <laughs> right in the beginning. Okay. A toast to father. Here, here. Father cheese. <sighs> okay. Okay, now we're in the game. We can, we can change our outfits. That's cool. What is this? A tunic? Do I need that? Do I need this? I don't know. Um, inventory. I am currently wearing hats. Pantaloons! Oh, I already have a tunic. Oh. And I have a commission letter equipped. And I also have low leather boots. Daisy, can you go to bed, please? Go to bed. Come on, go to bed. Girl. Okay. <clears throat> um yeah I actually actually don't need this so I'm gonna put it back I guess it's like if you just want to wear a different color and you, you decide you hate your what is this a vest Ooh. chest three chest two <laughs> well okay then <clears throat> Is there a highlight button? Probably not. This is an old game. <laughs> All right. Excuse me, sir. May I speak with you a moment? Pardon, sir. My name is Demon, and I have orders. Demon? <laughs> I have orders for you. 
You are to report to Captain Avarice for training in the Outer Bailey as soon as possible. Thank you, but I will look around first. As you wish, sir, but I wouldn't keep Captain Avarice waiting for too long. Where is the Outer Bailey? You can get there by taking the stairs at the end of the hall. Go to the main doors on your left into the Outer Bailey. Thank you, Damon. Are you really a demon? Am I allowed to snoop around? Ooh, a sword. Heavy military sword with a double-edged blade. This one shows evidence of neglect. Journal entry. <clears throat> oh, boy. I was up before dawn today with my turn at the watch. Back home, I was used to getting up early, but it's different here at Avalon. Sleep is as hard to come by as fresh food. Not a night passes without someone in the barracks rousing others with a nightmare. Even I've had my share of less than good dreams. During the day, no one likes to think about what might happen if the war doesn't turn to our favor soon. But at night, we have no such control over our thoughts. The dreams come and we are helpless against them. We're on constant alert these days with what, uh, what with the Shagul getting bolder every day from the walls of Avalon. We can see the Shagul some nights scurrying through the abandoned city. It's an eerie sight. Oops. Oops. God damn it. It's an eerie sight. It's very eerie. I wish I knew uh, more about the Emini we're fighting. Our leaders don't seem to be able, or willing, to share much information about them. Sometimes I think what makes the Shaul a truly terrifying enemy is our lack of knowledge. At least if we knew more about them, we could be better prepared for their actions. I wonder if, it, if having such knowledge would drive away the dreams, or would make it worse. <clears throat> I'll leave him his journal page. I don't need to take that. Animeme, thank you for the thousand bits. Happy Tuesday. Think the wallpaper is a bit busy? It's probably one of many. Thank you so much, Anime. Much appreciated. Hope you're having a lovely, lovely, lovely Tuesday. Yeah, it is Tuesday, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it is. I wouldn't be streaming if it was Monday or Wednesday, so I'm pretty sure it must be Tuesday. So I like that I'm I like that this is a game where they don't care if we snoop around everywhere. At least for now, anyways. Nothing to, nothing to get in here. Nothing in here either. What's this? I don't know. Ooh. That guy look that's Moodum. Moodum. I will talk to him, but first I must explore. Shotgun Kitty! Thank you for the two months. What's this? Oh, another sword. A rusty dagger. Do people like care if I take this stuff? Am I, am I getting, am I going to be mad at me? I don't know. Is this not really a chest? How dare you? How dare you put a chest that is not really a chest? Hello. <clears throat> hey there. And where are you from? My home is Arium. Orium. At least I was in Orium before the Ahul burned it. If I had the chance, I would dismantle them myself, but we can't afford to spare any men for anything but defense. Always waiting for reinforcements. Hmm. Have you kept your ears open? Our uh, captain said for us to be wary of an attack tonight. He has a strange sense about this sort of thing, so I'd sleep near my sword if I were you. The Ahul have been too quiet lately. They've got to be up to something. That well. I don't like how there's chests that aren't really chests. That that deeply offends me. And yeah, that is a video game thing that is incredibly offensive to me. Oh, oh, a dried rose. Charm plus five. Yeah, I'm stealing that. <clears throat> uh, yeah, yeah. Interface hint is fine, Rob. Yes, you can do that. 
You have fake chests around your house too, just to fuck with burglars. Do you get a lot of burglars? Do you get a lot of uh, <laughs> weird sorcerers in your house stealing your goods? Private love letter. A love letter from a soldier's girlfriend. Well, it does say it's private. Can I read it anyway? What? Oh, come on. Oh, come on. I would like to equip this. Thank you so much. I now am very charming. I am now incredibly charming. I have 12 charms. <clears throat> Cheesy greetings. How about Joe? This is Siege of Avalon. If you hit X once, it should make walls see through. Oh. That is incredibly useful and definitely should be on by default, in my opinion. Okay, dude. <laughs> Does that mean there's more things that I can click on? Like another fake chest? More fake chests for everyone. Balls. Ooh, a lady. Hello. Pardon me, sir. What can I do for you? I've only just arrived in Avalon. I'm glad to see that not all of Avalon's inhabitants are soldiers. Who are you and where do you come from? <clears throat> Basically, I'm excited that there's a woman here. My name is Heather. I'm the chambermaid for the officer's quarters in this part of the keep. I've lived all my life here in Orient, but working there was a bore. I came to Avalon because this is the last bastion of hope for the people of the Eastern Lands and the Seven Kingdoms, and even a job like mine became more important here. Everyone does their part. Let me thank you in advance for caring for my quarters. Good day to you. <clears throat> All right. Oh, oh, here he is. Okay, I, re I really did want to talk to this guy, so... Save. Hello! What brings you to my door? Excuse me, sir. I am newly arrived in Avalon, and I am just looking around and meeting people. Who are you, and where are you from? <laughs> My name is Moodum, and I am native to this land. I joined this army when the fight with Mithras was still young, and over the years I suppose I've proved my worth to the leaders around here. Now I am the master of scouts in charge of their training and deployment. What can I do for you? I see. Truth be told, I'm interested in learning some scouting skills. Actually, I'm not. Thank you. I'll be on my way. As you wish. If you ever need something, don't be shy. Thank you, good sir. What are these? More fake chests? Don't like it. All right. Well, if there's a scouting guy, maybe there's a maging guy. Are you a mage? Hello. Can't you see I'm busy boy I'm moving along? Oh, sorry about that. Okay. Is there a map? Oh, look at that. There is. Maybe the other corner. Um, ooh, that looks important. Sorry, sir, we're under strict orders to let no one pass. You'll have to move along. Okay. Fine. Ooh, it's in here. There's nothing to click on. That is not really a door either. <clears throat> this game is up to no good. I can tell already it's up to no good. Fake chests, fake doors. No good. This looks rather magey. Hello. Welcome soldier. What can this old wizard do for you today? I've just arrived in Avalon and I was having a look around. Who are you? I am Elrath, and as you can see, this is my laboratory, where I am doing research on the ancient ruins that lie beneath the village. I also serve as an advisor to Sir Roth and his council, and when I can, I teach aspiring mages to better control the forces around them. I've studied the arts before, but would like to develop my skills some more. <laughs> what, are we all poets now? <laughs> Let us see what you know. After several hours of instruction, very good. You do have a natural talent for magic. Please feel free to use the obelisk behind me for target practice, or if you are ready, I can instruct you in some of the more advanced techniques. 
Uh, I would be most interested in anything that you have to offer. So what would you like instructions in? I hold spell, heal spell. Hold on a second. I have to check if I actually have spells. I don't think that I do. <clears throat> Which is weird. He was like, you know everything. You're very good at being a wizard. Uh, right, so that's my quest. This is my adventure. Oh, wait, is this... Oh, I have my own little journal that we'll have to read. Okay, cool. And then this thing, which is... Oh, God. Wait, it's two journals? What? <clears throat> wow, okay, we'll read that late. We'll read that in a bit. I wonder if Sparkle has already died. <laughs> I don't remember if he would teach you if you didn't pick Mage. It's hmm. a good question. We'll never know. You'll have to test it for us, Rob, because I'm not going to. Good day. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh, really? Do I? Oh. Um, I'll have to reload then, I guess. Well, that's stupid. <laughs> I dare say that's pretty silly. One chance. Well, I'm going to learn both of those. I think I have some points, right? Oh, no, I don't. I have zero. I'm gonna see what happens if I ask him to train me, though. <sighs> Most interested. <laughs> Run, Forrest, run! Okay, I have one training point, so I can get either the heal spell or the hold spell. I think I'm gonna pull up the manual for this, because I'm probably gonna wanna know what the spells mean. So, just a sec. All right, well, um, that's interesting. Okay, I'm just gonna take the hold spell. A fairly useful, oh, and he, of course, and he just tells me what it does. Hold will immobilize an opponent for a short length of time. The stronger you are in the art, the longer your opponent will not be able to move or fight back, if you catch my meaning. Does this sound like something you want to cast? Yes. Nothing wise. One. Okay, so normally... <clears throat> normally, I would choose the healing spell first, but, you know, I... I decided to be feisty, and I'm going to assume that we'll get potions and stuff, so. Hello, I am Sherard. What do you do? I am Elrath's assistant. I have been his aide for many years now since before the war. We came here from Fernax together. Do you like working for a wizard? I like working with him well enough, truth be told. It's even a bit endearing having him never remember my name. He's getting a bit forgetful, you know. Nevertheless, if those uh, hool monsters try coming in over the walls, he'll sling spells at them like few others can. Magic is graven so deeply into his soul, he could never forget it. And with luck and courage, I'll be at his side, though hopefully by then I'll have fully memorized flame. A wizard would always be welcome by my side. I'm glad I know you. Great. Ooh, what was this? Red? Red and yellow? I oh, I can attack these. Okay, yeah, let's do that, but let's save. Butch! Okay, so auto auto attack. Um, and then I can I think I'm supposed to bind these or something. Charge. Okay, that opens that. We go back to options. <clears throat> key one, key two. Oops! Oh god! <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> that was way too easy to accidentally do. Um, and then you can't resume <laughs> after you hit that. <sighs> One, two, buckle my shoe. <clears throat> One. One. Oh, okay. How do I actually cast? 
How do I actually do the casting of the thing? Oh, look at the manual! Let's look at the manual! Do I have to, like, rest or something before I can cast them? Or... Maybe the pillars only work with charge. Oh, maybe. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, that... that I guess that makes sense. Why is this one yellow? It's not aggroed to me. <laughs> okay, so... There's my mana over here. <laughs> I thought that was a shield. Cool, thank you! I have juicy gear for me. Hello. <clears throat> what do you want? I am new here and I just received my commission. I was told that you'd be able to provide me with equipment. An old pig sticker is all I can give you. If you want something better, you have to find it elsewhere. A dagger? Is that all you have? Sorry, lad. General Roth has ordered me to hold most of the arms distribu distribution so we can prepare for an assault. You don't think I like seeing anyone, even new recruits, go so poorly armed, do you? It's a damn shortage of good steel. So where can I find better equipment, then? These days, I don't really know, but maybe Lucan can help you out. He's out in the armory by the south gate, past the outer bailey. I wouldn't count on it, though, lad. I also hear there are a few merchants in the outer bailey, but if the military doesn't have proper equipment, I don't see how commoners could. I guess I'll try talking to Lucan, then. Thank you for your time. Much appreciated. Oh, look, that's a real chest. <laughs> Last night I was chosen for scouting detail. My first venture into the abandoned city since the siege began was strange to say the least. The detail had the usual encounters with a few Shahul. Nothing we couldn't handle, fortunately. What really sent the chills down my spine, though, were the creepy noises that seemed to come from nowhere and everywhere at the same time. The only thing I could think of while we were out there last night was the prowling ghost of a male tomcat looking for a mate, but knowing it would never find one as a ghost. <laughs> I'm sure that doesn't make sense, but the sound was like nothing of this world it would certainly, and certainly nothing human. All of us were very careful not to talk about it. But we heard it. Of course, we put it in our report to Mudum. Luckily, he didn't relieve us for all for insanity after reading it. Something strange is in the city, and I only hope I'm not the first one to run into it. <sighs> okay. Very spoop. Much spoop. Another day of waiting. Endless waiting. We wait for orders. We wait for shift changes. We wait for the Shaul to make another move. We fear the wait will be over all too soon. No one can say for certain what will happen when the day finally comes. What I wouldn't give for just one minute back home in my own room. The things I miss most are the smells of home, the earthly scent of just tilled soil, the fragrance of wildflowers when the sun is high, the perfume that Meg wears just behind her ear. Those are things I won't forget. No matter how horrible the war gets, I hope she waits for me. Great. I hope so, too. Do -do -do. Do. Okay, I'm pretty... I went mostly everywhere. Are you anyone important? Um, rumors? I heard King Vortigern and Taberland is coming with every able-bodied man in his kingdoms. The soldiers of Taberland have proven themselves before the battle. Their arrival will save us, but until then, though, we need everybody we've got to hold off the Ahul. Things are tough here, and we're all just barely holding on. If any of us break down, the, another, then another will, and another, until we're like the herd of cattle trapped in a blind panic, and then we'll die. We need to be strong, all of us. I understand. I didn't realize the situation was so precarious. Of course it's precarious. We're in a bloody siege, you idiot. <laughs> Frankly, I think our only hope is if King Vortigern gets here, and damn quickly too. Between betrayal from inside the walls and constant attack from outside, historically, sieges go very badly for the defenders. And that's without mentioning the threat of disease and famine. I've been here long enough to know a little bit of military history. You know, you have to look, you have the look of a new recruit. 
I admit that I am but newly arrived here. However, I'm not exactly inexperienced. I have ten strength, you know. <laughs> the strength in your voice, that's good. Maybe you'll last here after all. Most of us here, I think, are strong enough to last until the king arrives. But there are one or two that I'm not so sure about. Really? Like who? Madden, for one. Every time I've walked the halls on patrol these last few weeks, he's been blubbering about his l the love of his. About how he misses her and wishes he was home with her. It's sad, sure, but every last one of us wishes we, were home we weren't We were here. But do we get all weepy about it? No. And why? Because it's exactly the sort of thing that's so dangerous. If one of us blubbers, then the next one will, and so on. We need to be strong. Madden, though. But at least I took care of his problem. What do you mean? He had this letter from his girl. He read it constantly, or, or on duty or off. What he really needs to do is forget her and concentrate on keeping Avalon secure. I figure if he didn't have that damn letter, he'd be better off. So I took it, and I hid it in my room. He's probably better off if he can forget her. Exactly, and it won't be forever. Only King Vortigan arrives. I'll return it after him. Thanks. Good for the good for you. So does that mean that I stole the rose from this guy's room? <laughs> Not the actual guy's room. Whatever. Okay, so, um, I suppose we'll go. Does this guy tell me about this? Directions. The Quartermaster. I need a healer. No, I'm good. Um, I'm, I'm good. Hold me. Where does this go? Ooh. Oh! Okay. <clears throat> Monk rub. Ooh. Minus three defense. Wait, are those? That's got an X on it. What does that mean? Does that mean just mean it's broken? All right. Well, I, I need this. I'm taking it. The friar. Today, I inventoried the supplies remaining in the church's stores. It seems food is not the only commodity in short supply. Nearly every herb and potion ingredient we have is gone or nearly gone. The supply ships surely would have brought more of these items with them, but the Shaul made short work of them as surely as they did the food. Things must be better soon. I don't think they can get much worse. Oh, dear. Oh, dearie me. Um. Guess I should... You know. Um, what's this? Oh! Spellbook. Do I need to equip this? Yes, I do. And then we've got a dagger from that guy. Minimum strength 12. So I don't I don't have enough. Yeah. I can Oh, I can almost oh. Uh, less than three. Thank you so much, Silverly, for the 43 months. That is, that is so much. That is so much time. Thank you very much, friend. Okay, I don't like how it looks with the... Can I make it look different? No. <laughs> Wait, yeah, I can. Interesting. Robe. But that's always on the top. Which makes sense, because it's a vest. What if I equipped this? Hmm. <gasps> Interesting. But I can't put the... Yeah. Now it just looks like I have a skirt. <laughs> it's very silly. The infirmary is getting fuller every day. I don't know how many more we can take and still be effective. The Shah will grow more daring with their offensive against Avalon. Soldiers are being injured during their watch by Shaul arrows, and scouts are being wounded on routine sweeps of the city. One begins to wonder if it's worth putting the soldiers who remain in further jeopardy, but I suppose that's the point. If the Sha'ul can wear us down, it will make it that much easier for them to defeat us. If I know General Roth, he won't do anything to make it easier on the Sha'ul. General Roth, what a guy. Hmm. 
Hmm. Wow. It's very lovely around here. Hello? Welcome to the chapel. I am Brother Crosby. How can I help you? Um, what's the news? The wounded pile on top of each other. The Ahul are extracting a terrible price. We work all day and night, but the wounded keep coming. The good spirits will shine on us, though. I hope they do, brother. I hope they do. So this is this, like, infirmary. If Brother Curly doesn't let me be soon, I think I'll break his arm despite my wound. I know he's just concerned for my health and wants to see me recover, but the man can be worse than any of my childhood nursemaids back in Taberland. Maybe Curly thinks the son of a noble must be cared for more closely than a common farmer, but it makes no difference out here in Avalon. A Shaul's arrow wounds either this with equal skill. Perhaps I should be thankful the arrow did not puncture my riding arm, and then I truly would have nothing to do but sit and endure Curly's endless optimism. He did report today that I should be able to return to duty at the end of the week. That will be a relief. I feel terrible hiding in the infirmary while my fellow soldiers defend Avalon. Nothing like a few turns at the watch to liven things up again. There's another lady. Hello. Greetings, sir. How may I assist you? Um, I'm hunting for rumors. Have you heard any? A friend tells me that the south gate almost fell last night. I would keep away from there if I were you, unless, of course, you wish to be impaled by an Ahul spear. I doubt south gate could be breached, and I am no coward. If there is a fight, I will be in the thick of it. Duty demands, no less. As you say, I will pray for your safety. Thank you. Yeah, I ain't no pansy, okay? Belinda. You don't look injured. Why have you come to our infirmary? Are you looking for someone? No, I'm new here. I'm just looking around. Who are you? I'm Belinda, and I work here at the infirmary. I'm afraid I'm not quite a healer at that Crosby or Friar Masses are, but I try to confront, to comfort the wounded and the dying. It's the least I can do, and I make sure to wear a very low-cut shirt so that they are extremely comforted. It seems to work very well. I'm sure your efforts are greatly appreciated. Good day to you. Wait, I know you. You're Lieutenant Corvus's brother, right? We're running dreadfully short on some supplies needed to combat a fever spreading about the infirmary, and could you please talk to Brother Mo about it? I'm certain you could help us. Ooh. I'll make a point to if you think I could help, my lady. Farewell. Ooh, a side quest. Is Brother Mo? Are you Brother Mo? I'm glad you stopped by. I have a problem that you may be able to solve. Anything, brother. Avalon's healers are critical to our survival. Thank ye very much. Ye truly are a gift. By the way, I'm Brother Mo. I apologize for nay introducing myself properly, but there is precious little time to waste. Listen, there is a fever running about the infirmary. Tis spreading quickly. Where we nay low on medical supplies, we could ease everyone's suffering with an easily brewed tea. You see our dilemma. Supplies are low everywhere, and the infirmary is no exception. I understand, brother. What kind of supplies do you need? We run out of a specific herb. I thought we had more, but it seems we'd almost run out of much sooner than anticipated. I know the influx of wounded has nay been small, but even so, tis almost as if someone... No, but that couldn't be. This is Avalon. Put simply, lad, we need more. There was an orchard in the village with the monks took to using to grow the herbs we need. They'll nay longer be in neat rows, but the herb will still be there. But again, you, need, you see the problem. The infirmary can nay afford monks to wander about doing the business of soldiers. Would ye have Moodman's scout to retreat your wounds? No, ye surely, ye surely not. Nor Captain Navarus, that's our job, but what we do what we can. That we do, brother. How will I know which herb is yours that you need? <sighs> Tis more of a hearty weed than fragile flowers, so I dare say it'd be more running rampant over the orchards by now. You will know the plant. Tis red petals, lush green leaves, brown bulbous fruit, and dank musty smell. What I need from ye is a fruit of the plant. The more the better. I shall remember and fulfill it when I am able. Thank ye much, me child. I would be ever so grateful. Great. Quest. Village Orchard. 
Fuzzy Womp. Thank you for the raid. <sighs> yeah, sorry. Some of the voices are a bit, um, you know. <laughs> I didn't know if that guy was going to be a Scottish or a pirate or a Scottish-Irish pirate or, um, <laughs> you know, whatever. Okay. I, I think we're almost done exploring, all right? Okay, but it was worth it. We got a side quest. Anything back here? Oh. Hello. Friar Masses. Welcome to the chapel, my son. Have you come to offer prayers? Hmm. Well, I wish to meet some residents of the keep. Where are you from? I came here with the Tabalans many years ago. I chose not to become involved in their civil war, though. I felt I was needed here for my spiritual guidance and for the healers who serve the chapel. I'm sure the soldiers are glad to have you among us. Yes. Thank you for not having too much dialogue. <laughs> you don't look injured. What can we do for you? Uh, where are you from? I am Niso-san. Huh? I was injured in the fighting outside the Citadel just before the siege began. They said they might send me back on the next ship since they thought I was now useless. Instead, I joined up with Friar Masses, and in here I can still do some good. With the siege, though, I think it may be such a good idea. It may not wasn't such a good idea to stay. Perhaps I should have gone home. I'm glad you stayed. We can all use all the help we can get. Right. Yes. You're doing a lot of good sitting there staring at the wall. I approve. I'm going to save the game. <sighs> oh, ooh, pumpkins. How do I get in there? Does this go to the dungeons? Oh, hello. Anora. If you've come here looking for a handout, you're wasting your time. There's nothing to spare in these hard times. Uh, I see. Instead of a handout, could I possibly hear a rumor? <laughs> I see. Is there anything I can help you with? Well, you look like something of a soldier. Perhaps there is, at that, these creatures. Creatures? What do you believe them to be? Rats, perhaps. Of course. <laughs> what else? But I'm not certain. All I know for certain is that their precious stock of grain downstairs is being eaten, and it's not by us. That silly girl Bonnie may think it's a shade or some such, but what would a shade do with flour? Whatever it is, it's not stopped soon. There'll be nothing left for me to feed anyone, not even General Roth himself. Sounds like a terrible predicament. I hope it's resolved soon. Allow me to dispatch these creatures for you, ma'am. Finally, some of the courage to investigate the situation. Be careful, lad. I will return shortly, but not until every one of those thieves is destroyed. Yes, I am brave. Mr. Cheese Whiz. <laughs> it's my name. Don't wear it out. This goes down, looks like. Select a destination. Basement. Ooh. Basement. All right. Oh, that's not a rat. Come back here, you! Why is there no music? <laughs> we were plagued by music for so long. Where's my health? This is my mana. Is my health here somewhere? It's very quiet. I'm gonna try the hold spell. Oh. That's what I thought it would do. It costs a lot of mana, though. Ooh, critical blow! Yeah! Dude, these water beetles are. They're nothing. Am I being really dumb? Like, doesn't. Where is my health? Oh! Oh, it's this! It's right, it's right here. Wow, okay. <clears throat> Got it. Okay, I don't know. I didn't see that at all. I don't know. It just blended in with all the other stuff. Ooh, that's where they're coming from, huh? Ooh, 
You're going down, son. Out. <laughs> Unless I die, and then, uh, and then you will not be going down. You're going downtown. You know what I could do is I could do like a sweet combo where I go like this and then I go like, oh, that didn't work. Shit. <laughs> Ring around the rosy pocket full. Oh God, they're smart. They're too smart for me. There's a lot of these things. Come back here. Okay. Oh, balls. <laughs> it's fine. I win, because I am the best. Hey. <laughs> Good thing I found where my health was, or I probably would have died. I also, it's weird that there's no music down here after being plagued by that music for so long up upstairs. Okay, you know, don't come and attack me if you don't want to. It's fine. That's totally fine with me. Resume. I'm pretty sure there's more down here. Yeah. Okay. Snipe! Oh, it was following him. Oh, look at that. I am now out of mana. I shall wait. Uh oh. <laughs> la 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 la. La 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 la. <laughs> Take that. I think the healing spell is going to be very useful when I when I can get it. Do I have stamina also? I feel like sometimes he starts walking, but maybe that's just the location of my mouse. A couple of them are almost dead over here. Um... <laughs> just wait till I get my mana back, bug. Yeah, you just wait. Come here. Oh uh, yeah, you better run. Yeah, you better run. Yeah. Ha 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 Am I getting experience? <laughs> what am I- am I getting things from this? Do you get experience for killing things? Or is it just for completing quests? The ways of this game are so mysterious to me. Ow. Region Dragon, thank you for following. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Can you rest? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Are you almost dead? Yeah, you are. Okay. Ha! Ah. The combat reminds me a little bit of Divine Divinity, which um, I really, I really, really love that game, like a lot. <laughs> so, nothing bad there. Am I using the sword? I'm pretty sure I equipped it. it doesn't look like I am, though. 
I definitely have it equipped. Can I dual wield? Oh. Hmm. All right. Well, I think I killed everything. Possibly. Combat mode space. Oh, <gasps> oh. That's just. Oh my god! I wasn't using the dagger the whole time. <laughs> Is there nothing to loot down here? Uh, I was like, it, I thought it was weird because it showed all of the other things on this on the sprite showed up, but not the dagger. So I was like, that's strange. Um, I really thought there would be something to loot, but uh, it's fine. Not even a king water beetle to fight. It's fine. I'm I'm so badass that I I don't even you know I don't even need I don't even need a weapon. I'll just punch all the water beetles. I've just come from the basement, madam. There was an infestation of giant beetles below feasting on the flower. However, I have dispatched every single one of them, and our food supplies are once again safe. From their unwelcome mouths. <laughs> Giant? I thought rats had been down there or something. Giant beetles, though. I am well enough, madam. However, I must report uh, to you that the beetles entered through a hole dug through the wall in the basement. To prevent further infestation, the hole must be repaired immediately. Yes, of course. You should find Davit out in the mess hall. He is a poor excuse for a soldier, and he and that friend of his should suffice for simple repair work. Go tell him that if he ever wants to eat of my cooking again, he'll have the whole patch to my satisfaction before a day goes by. After you're done with him, be sure to return and let me know. It would be my pleasure, madam. Yes. Anything from you? What brings you here? Have you heard anything of interest lately? I heard there is to be a raid on the Ahu camp. We sure could use the supplies. The cooks are having a hard time stretching the few supplies we have remaining. My brother is part of that raid, and I believe it will be a success. I have every confidence that it will be. Okay, someone in the mess hall. Someone in... This is definitely the mess hall. One of you douchebags? Yes. Now what? While the creatures in the basement have been dealt with, they've left behind a sizable hole in the wall which needs to be repaired so that no more creatures may enter. <laughs> He's just like, what? Where did you come from? What hole in the wall? What infestation? <laughs> what? <laughs> and what do you expect me to do about it? My duty seems to consist of lazing about the mess hall. Honora has told me to tell you and your friend here to fix the wall or you'll have nothing to eat at supper. But it's your choice, soldier. Repair the wall or grow even hungrier than you are now. I also believe that you owe the Lady Bonnie an apology. You will deliver one, won't you? I know you'll make the right decision. Good day. <laughs> Man. Cheese whiz telling him like it is. Have you spoken with David yet? Will the wall be fixed? Yes, madam. He will be fixing it promptly. But he never actually said that though excellent thank you for all your work soldier you've my word that once we've more supplies the finest pie that i bake will be your reward though it was only my duty to assist you madam i shall still eagerly await your creation until then a good day to you <laughs> i'm so glad i gave this hero a british accent or a, a vaguely british accent anyway <laughs> <coughs> Whole patch for her satisfaction. What? <laughs> okay, sounds good, Anime. Thank you so much. <sighs> Punch only run. That would be. Well, I'm sure you could do that. You just have to have a lot of strength and stuff, right? All right, so. <laughs> find a fruit. We finished that quest we just got. Oh, God, there was so much to read. <laughs> All right, let's let's um quickly go over our our journal that we have so far. Our adventuring log. 
It hardly seems fair that when I have only just found my brother, he is again forced to lead. Duty beckons, however, and his call is irreversible. General Overon will, I am certain, see that my brother is returned safely to me. The commission that Corvus secured for me will, however, allow me to remain in Avalon until his return. I may even prove to be of some use around here. Elrath. Elorath, the wizard, makes his home in the northeast corner of the second floor in the outer keep. He seems kind and most willing to instruct soldiers who wish to pursue the, pursue the art of magic. Should I ever wish to learn more, I will return. The quartermaster on the second floor of the outer keep informed me that there seems to be a shortage of good steel, and so the equipment he was able to provide me is in poor quality. For better arms, I, he suggested that I ask Lucan. Yes. I have been told by the young King Vortigon from Timberland. Timberland is on his way. Hmm. Kent believes that the only way into Avalon will be saved if every soldier remains strong. I have been told by Kent that he stole a love letter from Madden, a fellow soldier. If I get the effort to get, if, in an effort to get Madden to forget about his lover and concentrate on the duty of Avalon, the letter is hidden in Kent's room, and while he insists that he would return the letter, I do not know that I like this. I don't know if I like it. So, I could return the letter, basically, if I want to. Something is thieving food from the kitchen stores. Hmm. I'm not certain how appreciative it is to assign repair work to soldiers, appropriate it is, but I must admit, I have not seen any general laborers around and David's duties seem non-existent. Truth be told, however, I enjoyed bullying him into repairing the wall. <laughs> it was great. I love bullying. It took Corvus several hours to get back from attending the meeting. After some much-needed sleep, I was able to give him my news, which he took better than I thought I would have thought than I would have thought. The constant warfare in the past few years has hardened him in the ways I did not expect. Corvus, in turn, had news of his own. Once again, our reunion had to be cut short. For he had to leave immediately to gather his men. Corvus's unit was selected to serve as outriders to protect the flank of General Overon's field forces. A full third of the castle's men, as they conduct a lightning raid on the nearby Sha'ul supply camp. The camp, located in the east, will supply Avalon with some desperately needed food stores. Corvus assured me that he will only be gone for a few hours and that we can catch up when he returns. I met a kindly old wizard today named Elorath. I admit that when I first learned he was a wizard, I was afraid. But he was so kind and interesting that I became curious. He offered to teach me some basic spells. I never thought I'd be able to do magic. It's much easier than I imagined. After only a few minutes, I was doing some pretty incredible stuff. I think knowing that I know what I know now, I'd be a better soldier and better able to defend Avalon. It was a very eventful afternoon for me. Anora, the mistress of the kitchen, was overjoyed when I told her I had found and eliminated a group of scavenging beetles in her basement. The creature had broken through a hole in the wall and were eating Avalon's food stores. And I killed them all, and it was nice. Okay, so the adventure log is basically just cataloging all of the important things that I've spoken to NPCs about, which is nice. And the journal is my journal. So that's cool. I like it. Right. Um, I don't think I've gone... Wait, that was the church. Have I gone into this corner? Yeah, I think this is where I came from, actually. Yeah. Mmm. That sounds good. You made eggs and dumped them on the floor? See, it's times like those where it's nice to have a dog. <laughs> then you don't even have to clean it up. Of course, you have to make sure that you don't make poisonous things for dogs. But it does come in handy. All right, we're leaving now. I think. Maybe. You have the record. Right oh. Um. Yeah. I have to go to the outer bailey. The outer bailey. I have to find some stairs. Maybe it's on the other floor. Oh, um, did I go down here? This is another basement entrance? Oh. Oh, goodness. What's going on down here? Basement's very ominous. Huh. 
Uh huh. The servants sleep down here or something? Bedrooms. You're still eating them after they fell on the floor? Oh man, I wouldn't. <laughs> I don't think there's going to be anything down here. I wish there was stuff to loot, but there just doesn't seem to be anything. <sighs> alas, alas, alas. Hello there. What is it you want? Where are you from? I was stolen from the forests of Artovar to fight in this bloody war. I loathe this wretched citadel. Okay then. <laughs> Sorry to ask. Ooh, pants. Common longsword. Max rest Wait, can I use this? Oops. I can use it. 14 attack recovery. 4 to 12 cutting, 1 to 6 crushing. Whoa, that's way better. Holy moly potatoes. I hope no one's gonna miss that. Ooh, and a quiver belt. And a tunic. I'll take it. I don't know why, but I will. I'll wear them. I'm just going to wear this. <laughs> Wait, so... Okay, it's the same stats as that. Ooh. Okay, well... Ooh! Stealth minus one. Alright. I mean, makes sense to wear that too, doesn't it? Why not? Now I'm going to be... Ooh! Oh, tabard! Leather booties. Slightly better than my normal booties. Whoa, dude, I am set now. I'm like the coolest dude. <laughs> hey guys, hopefully none of this was yours. Edric, where are you from? I am a child of a three I've never seen. I would be homesick for my blah, 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 blah. Hello there. Can I help you? Where are you from? I used to trade horses in Kathia. Now I'm just another fighter. Thank you. Oh, the, the jail cells. It'd be, it'd be strange if there was things to loot in here. <laughs> Is there any prisoners? Sounds kind of like a cat. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna just guess that there is nothing in here. The game likes to put a lot of rooms with a lot of nothing in them, so. <laughs> okay, well that was worth coming down here. To the outer keep? Okay, and then this goes to outer keep level two. Is there a... There's some stairs there. So that's probably where I'm trying to go. Hey man, <laughs> look, I didn't even need your help to get gear. I totally found some. You have to keep level three. Hello. I can't let you through unless you have the right papers. Thank you. Wait, I do. What happened to my papers? Didn't I have a paper? Didn't I have a paper from my brother? 
Maybe I already used it somewhere else. I don't know. Well, I'm gonna guess this is for later then. I need directions to the outer bailey. Taking these stairs to the lower level, go to the grand hall and exit from the main doors. Oh, I tried to do that. Maybe I clicked on the wrong main door. Maybe it, did I try this door? Oh, that door. Okay. Got it. Outer Bailey. I found it. Outer Bailey. Hello there, Halwyn. Good day, sir. Trust you are well. I am good. Good day to you. Who are you then? What do you have of me? What do you have of me? I am Cheese Whiz, your new sparring partner. I'm here to train with you. <laughs> mm, you don't look too tough. Just walk away when you've had enough time to play. Have at thee! <laughs> Hang on. Let me get my sword. Um. What? All right. <laughs> Whatever. Hello. Um. Ah, fresh meat for the grinder. You have the look of Corvus about you. Are you related to him? Yes, I am, sir. He is my older brother. And a fine soldier he is, too. I trained him myself, you know. And you, are you ready to learn the basics of soldiering? Of course, sir. Fine, then. Molder will be your training partner. He'll whip you into shape in no time. Report back to me when you have had enough. I think that he's not willing to do that anymore. <laughs> um, excuse me. He doesn't seem to be trying very hard. All right, <laughs> apparently I'm done. <laughs> I'm confident in my abilities, sir. As you say, soldier. I'll report your skill level to the commanders and they will assign you your duties. Dismissed. Okay. Uh, the only difference between it and a real battlefield is a lack of dead soldiers. Journal. A page came up and summoned me to the training guards. Grounds. There I met Captain Avarus, my commanding officer, until my training is complete. He didn't seem particularly enthused to have me, judging by the looks of the other trainees. Avalon is searching through the dregs of its population for any available men. Few were past 16, and even fewer held their practice sword with any conviction. If these are to be the protectors of the Seven Kingdoms, then I fear for the future. I spent most of the day training with the ox named Moldock. I suppose he was the <laughs> all the lessons back home were helpful, even if I used them until about now. Avarice was impressed with my progress and said it would, wouldn't be long before I was assigned to guard detail. I don't know whether to feel proud or cheated. I didn't come all this way to stand watch over some door deep in the citadel. Yeah, I better not be. I better not be on guard duty. <laughs> oh dear. Anything else? Okay. All right. Well, that was, uh, apparently I spent most of the day doing that. Hold up, lad. I don't know if you've ever, if you've heard yet, but there may be trouble with the expedition your brother was on. <gasps> what trouble? What happened, sir? 
As you know, Corvus was part of a large troop that rode out in a short raid. The troop was led by General Overon, commander of our field forces. They are overdue, and we've seen no sign of them. Is Corvus all right? I don't know. A search party has just returned. They'll be reporting to Sir Roth now. You should go ask around the South Gate. If anyone has seen anything, they will have seen it from South Gate. Ask for my friend Callum. He'll help you. I appreciate your counsel. Oh no, not brother! What in the heck? Are you, what are you doing? Greetings, I'm Wilfred the Tanner. I make leather goods. Oh. I think I would like to see your merchant. Oh, well. I can sell him some stuff. Might as well sell him that and uh, the, the rusty dagger. Sell item. Sell item. Sell item? Oh, worn. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. He's got leather stuff. I could buy a hood. I'm not going to be very stealthy. Do, 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 do. Leather pauldron for four. Shoulders. Well, I don't have a hat, so, and it's only one, I'll buy that. I have arms. Do, what's, do I have a shoulder slot? Maybe it's that one, I don't know. Interesting. Careful, soldier. Southgate is a dangerous place at the best of times. The air who will always threaten the here doors. <sighs> Have you heard any rumors lately? I think Southgate is haunted. I hear strange noises at night. Thanks for the warning. Who am I supposed to ask about my brother? Beyond these bars lies the Southgate boy. Oh, all right. I... I'm going. I'm doing it. Proceed to the south gate. Save. I thought this would be outside. I am confused. Hello? Greetings, what are you about? I'm looking for news of my brother. What? The chap they saw running through the village yesterday? That's him, yes. That was the most exciting thing to happen around here in days. When they came down with news of the chase, everyone ran up to the top, but it was too late. He'd already disappeared out of sight. I hope he's all right. So do we all. May the good spirits protect him. So he was running running away like a pansy? Hello there, sir. What can I do for you then? You've seen these two men who've been over by the stairs recently. You wouldn't happen to know what they're doing, would you? They're a couple of old generals over on's boys. Rude buggers. Most I've been able to get out of them besides angry glares. I mean, is that they're looking into those no noises coming from down below. Don't know how they can be investigating standing silent at the top of the stairs, but there you have it. Maybe none of them are uh, downstairs on a bug hunt, but they're just making sure nothing gets up the stairs. Whatever the reason, they're sure keeping mum about it, though, and keeping everybody else away. At any rate, no, no, not one body's getting downstairs. While they're still around, I think it'll take an order from the general to get them to move. Except, of course, the general is now gone. I see. Thank you. Anytime, friend. If you really need to be looking downstairs, I'll be checking back later. They have to sleep sometime, right? Now, is there something else I can be doing for you? No, a good day to you. Okay. Um, so basically I need to wait until nighttime and then I can go down there. Get off, kid. Made it. Why though? Why though? Hello lad, a new face in the south gate is always welcome. Thank you, why do you say that? Been cooped up here for days, sir. Some of the fellows I hear starting to give me the creeps. What do you mean? Just my imagination, sir, but I could almost swear some of the blokes are here aren't on our side. Can you imagine that? 
30 odd, I hope you're wrong. I'm sure I am. Just a bit of cabin fever, sir, you understand? That I've been working double shifts? I'm tired as the dead. I hope you get the opportunity to get some proper sleep. May the good spirits protect you. Hmm, maybe the people downstairs have something to do with that. Hey, hey. Hello, what can we do for you? Nothing at all. How are things? More active than ever, no one's gotten decent sleep in ages. As if being a on constant alert wasn't bad enough. Something's been scratching away in the basement all night long. Really, there was an infestation of giant bugs in the kitchen early today. They had dug through the basement walls and had started eating food. That's been taken care of, thank the spirits, but perhaps they're digging down here as well. That could be, though it's still rather worrisome. Bugs from below and a-hole from without. Dangerous times here in Avalon. They are at that, since your duties keep you here. When I get a chance, I'll be certain to look into the situation for now, though. Farewell. Brother Mo, a blah, blah, Corvus is missing. Yes. Okay, great. Yep, yep. Fear of desperation. Mm hmm. They're, they're on Overon's orders. There's a speculation that they and other station, they refuse to reveal what they are. Hmm. If possible, that they simply do not know. I'm really following orders to let no one downstairs. Oh, I'll get down there. I'll get down there, all right. Hello. Good day to you, sir. How can I be of service? Um, just looking around. Very well. Do we need anything? Ask. Isn't this the guy for, that can give me armor? What do you do here? I'm in charge of the South Gate's armory. It's my job to keep the fortification defenders well supplied and trained with the proper equipment. I could do some equipment then. I was afraid you'd say that, sir. I'm sorry, but our weapons and armor will have to see the quartermaster in the outer keep. Everything I have is already assigned. I can provide you with a shield. My thanks. Do you have any ideas why supplies in the weaponry are so low? It's the blacksmith, sir. There seems to be very little coming out of his forge that's high quality these days. Oh, it's not his fault, sir. There's been a critical shortage of fine steel. Also, General Overon's requisitioned most of the quality weaponry we did have for his raid. What you see out there is what's left, sir, and even that's spoken for, shoddy as it is. Hmm. When was the last shipment? I don't rightly remember, sir. I do know there was supposed to be a shipment of steel in the supply fleet, but I don't know if that actually arrived. What with the disaster and all? One ship survived, and I was on it. I know there was food in the cargo hold, but I didn't hear of any steel. I'll admit I wasn't too curious. The owl who trying to sink us had my full attention. You could check with the blacksmith himself, sir, and see if he's received any fine steel. About the only way you'll get a decent sword is if he has. Freeman's his name, and his smithy's on the outer bailey. Come and think of it, though, if you happen to run across any a hool who aren't using their weapons, sir, I suppose you could always ask to borrow them if you catch my meaning. I follow, but I think that I'll check first with the blacksmith. In any case, thanks for your time. I think I already did that. Training? Ooh. Combat breathing? Healing rate? I have eight training points? Oh. First aid. Balance. Sure, I'll get hit points. Field first aid. Armor fitting. Minus two restrictions. What is restriction? Is restriction, um, like, does it reduce your movement speed or something? Because I, I noticed that all the armor gives restriction. Restriction. Items equipped or the weapons your character uses modify your restriction. The lower your restriction, the easier it is for your character to move around. Be careful when equipping your character as bulky or heavy items raise restriction. Okay. So it seems like it's movement speed. It reduces movement speed. That's kind of what it sounds like, but maybe it does more things underneath. Two people in chat know this game with Wizards and Warriors. Zero people knew it. Yeah, Wizards and Warriors was, was out there. Some weapons have a maximum restriction. Ah, uh, okay, that makes sense. So, like, if you have plate armor, you probably shouldn't use a dagger or something like that. Hey, Magic Cookie! What's going on? Ah, oh, coffee. I've been slacking on my coffee drinking because there's so much to read. I think I've talked to this guy, but I'm not 100% sure. And do I want any more training points? 
Do I want any more of this? Um, I don't know. Oh no, I guess I'll save my points. Already out of saving slots. Check the other side here. Hello? Hi! Could you do us a favor? If time permits. There's a scratching downstairs. We think it's rats. Could you have the general send over a few cats or something? It's keeping us up all night. Yeah, I think there's a few cats in the jail. You could use those. Like, 12 of them. Since giant beetles were discovered in the kitchen basement earlier today, we suspect that there are more beneath Southgate. I'm planning on looking into the situation later. Beetles? Even worse than rats. I hope you kill them and quickly I'll do my best. Why won't those dum-dums let me in the basement? Dum -dums. Say, you got a bit of tobacco I can borrow? No, I don't. Damn, I went dry a few days ago and I can't leave these blasted posts for days. I hope there's a shortage of tobacco inside, too. I imagine there isn't much of anything anymore. You're probably right. It's a filthy habit anyway. Good day. And to you. <laughs> Hello. Are you related to Lieutenant Corvus by any chance? I'm his brother. How did you guess? He used to be my commander until he went off with Oberon. You have the same hungry eyes. Hungry eyes. <laughs> it's rats downstairs, not people. I think it's beetles. I have a hunch it's probably something else. Something more serious than beetles. Like skeletons. How are things here? I have not had a good night's sleep in weeks. I think there's something living in the basement besides the dogs. All night long we hear the scratching or maybe digging of some gigantic rat or something. Or it's the Beetle King. The Beetle Queen. Now that you mention it, there was a swarm of giant beetles beneath the kitchen earlier today. After chewing through the walls, they started into the food. They're dead now, thank the spirits, but perhaps there's more below here as well. Into the food? That's not good. I'm glad they're gone. From what you're saying, I guess there could be more giant bugs in the basement then. Could be. When I get a chance, I'll be certain to look into the situation for now. Farewell. Oh, that is definitely the wall. Okay. Uh, is that all that's in here? Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Where does this go? Southgate level two. Ooh, things to loot. Ooh, kite shield. So this is a this is a heavy shield, one that I probably don't want to use. So I will sell it instead. How dare you put empty thingies? <sighs> I'm I'm very surprised the game hasn't given me any healing yet. Yeah, like a potion or something. I guess the they're they are having a shortage, but still. What is this? Gate operations. Uh, Penrith said you could have seen something up here concerning my brother Corvus. Right, sir. So I'm running through the village being chased by a whole raiders we did. He was giving them a mighty fight. Was he injured? He was running like he was enjoying himself, if you know what I mean. I expect he had taken a wound or two before we lost sight of him. Ah, uh, is that all you saw? I also saw they who were running out of the village at the Tia not long after. They looked like something had given them a good scare. That's always good news. Thank you for your help. Hello, sir. What brings you to the lookout? Come here for news of my brother. Your brother? You mean the bloke we saw running through the village yesterday? Yes, it was my brother. It was the Lieutenant Corvus of the Erythrian, Elythrians, Elythrians. Sure. As my name is Soren, he was being chased by the first full fist of Ahu raiders. He kept turning and fighting them every couple of houses or so. Quite a fighter your brother was. Is he alive? Couldn't say, sir. He turned down the alley and that's the last we saw of him. It sounds kind of like he was uh, luring them, maybe luring them away or something. Hello? What? Oh, men! What is it you want up here? Oh, ahem. <laughs> I'm just having a look around. Is something the matter? No, not at all. Everything is, uh, everything is fine. I see. I don't believe you at all. Hmm. 
Hello, lad. What is it you need from me? Benrath said you might have some information about my brother. Of course you mean. We saw him running through the village. He's being pursued by an a raiding party. Did he escape? Is he alive? No way of telling, lad. He turned down a dark alley and we lost track of him. We sent out a search party, though. They'll know more. I think they went to report to General Roth. Is that all? Is there anything else you can tell me? I'm afraid not. Go see General Roth. I'm sure the guards will admit you seeing as you're Corvus's brother. Come to think of it, he might want to see the wizard. Elazar. He's been muttering to himself about the village rather more than late. His room's a bit further up this corridor. Thank you. Oh, okay. I will. I'm taking the stuff. Did I put Did I put a shield in that like I'm not, I'm thinking that I did things backwards when I was looting the other thing now cuz I just I don't I'm confused. Confused. I'm very confused. It's probably it's probably fine. But I, oh, hello, wizard. Save. Hmm. Wizard. I've been expecting you. You'll be wanting news of your brother, correct? Yes, anything you could tell me would be helpful. I won't tell you anything you can find out from the fools outside this room, but I will say that I can sense your brother's life force. He is weak, but he lives. Unfortunately, I believe that something is trying to hide him from me. When I try to pinpoint your brother, he simply slips out of my grasp. But you're certain he's alive? I said so, didn't I? Now I expect you'll be wanting to go after him. Absolutely, I'll not leave my brother out there to die. A noble sentiment. I wish you luck in your endeavor, my boy. Thank you, and have you, you have my thanks for telling me he's alive. I didn't say it to please you, boy. I said it because it's the truth and there's a chance you may be able to help him. A slim chance, to be sure, but better than nothing. I will not fail. For his sake, I hope you prove to be right. Be careful out there, boy. Strange and foul things are about. I will, Sir Wizard. Good day to you. Could you teach me some spells? Hmm, okay, fine. Very rude. Okay, so now he's being held prisoner or something. Um, everything good? Yeah, why are you disturbed? Perhaps it has been an active duty too long, but I'm getting distressed with the other soldiers in the south gate. All of them? No, sir, just a few. I think my mind is playing tricks on me. Perhaps, and perhaps not. Trust your instincts and be cautious. Good advice, sir. Thank you. Yes, definitely. Greetings. What brings you here? I'm on business of my own. Sounds like a secret kind, sir. I won't pry. Thank you. Uh, yes, I'm... I mean, is it the secret? I don't think so. <laughs> All right. Well, um, so we've got some people that are uh, not who, not as they seem, clearly. Our brother is captured by the El Ghouls. El Ghouls. Wait, what are El Ghoul? That's from Witcher. <laughs> El Ghouls from Witcher. Yes. I'll probably call them that a lot on accident. Um. I think I'm gonna try and sell a couple more things. Uh, wait, was it not this guy? No, it wasn't. It was must have been the other guy. I thought I had more things in my inventory than this. Whatever. Um, did I talk to you already? Oh, yeah. Sort of just steal. Ooh. Yes, sir. A crippling shortage. And with General over on talking with him about the fine equipment, well, there's nothing good left, but if you step over here a moment, good sir, perhaps I may have a bit of something you'd be interested in. As you wish, but why are you suddenly whispering? I've managed just to squirrel away a shiny piece or two that might be to your liking. A shady business, perhaps, but back in Timberland, I learned that the ones with the good swords lived. 
from wherever they obtain their blades. And the ones without good swords, well, I'm sure you'll be taking my meaning. These pretties here will keep your insides inside for a price, of course. Hmm, show me what you ferreted away. Wow. What? Oh, <laughs> what? Where did you get this stuff? Where did you get all this? I can't afford this. Whoa. I definitely can't afford that. I'll sell you that, though. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. Um... Speak with Elazar. Did that. Uh, Commander of the South Gate. He may have more information. Captain Callum. Maybe he's farther? Oh. I wish to go this way. Can I? Apparently not. Apparently not, okay. I feel like... I feel like I missed... Did I talk to Captain Callum? I don't think I did. He's gotta be here somewhere. Is there another staircase? Oh wait, maybe. Oh yeah. No, these are blocked off. Oh, shit. Oh, he's right here. Oh, um, uh. <sighs> Who are you and where are you from? I'm Sir Callum of Cathia. I used to be a wrangler. I reckon my eyes are good and that's why they put me up here. Away from the keep. I try to keep a close eye on everything. I'm sure your eyes are making a difference. Mm-hmm. Okay. And latest information? Strange things in the graveyard at night. I don't think any of the other lookouts see them because wherever, whenever I point, they're gone. How strange. Okay. I guess we have to go back then. We have to go back to the other place. And we either need, we either need to pass time or something. Oh yeah. Yeah, I didn't take that because I'm stupid. Apparently. Thought so. But this, that's a big shield and I don't, I don't want to wear it. I will, I will sell it. Okay. The outer bailey. I did not check over here. Oh yeah, there was merchants here. Come close to sun. How can you see my fine goods from a distance? If your prices are fair, I may buy something. Uh, oh, a fancy hat? Ooh. You can have that. canvas hood that would be more my style I believe I will buy decorative headdressing worn by the nobility and the fashion impaired but I am fancy Temp it's tempting to buy the fancy hat it really is peasant hat That would be a lot of my money, though. I could buy that and a canvas hood. <laughs> but I think I would like to buy that and... Uh, that's it for now. 
instead of leather. There we go. Hey, GV! How's it going? I have no wish to speak with you or anyone right now. I'm not selling anything and I'm not buying anything. Go away. Of course. Sorry. Wow, what a jerk. Hello. Greetings, soldier. Hello, I'm new here and I haven't been meeting. I've been out meeting everyone. I can. Who are you, if I may ask? I hail from Nisos, where I am known as Olon the Quick. They had a bit of a reputation there as a master of sleight of hand, shall we say, related activities. Related activities? Do you mean you were a thief? Uh, I've always preferred the term rogue, but then I've never been one to quibble with the semantics. I was hardly born on a pile of gold like some. I survived as I could. These days, though, you must admit there's too little available to make that lifestyle worth bothering with. And so I've become a simple merchant, more or less. I like that. I like that saying. I was hardly born on a pile of gold like some. <laughs> more or less. And what does that mean? I keep an ear to the ground, even if there's not much for the market of goods. Information is always important, and favors still carry weight. If you come across any interesting tidbits, I'd love to hear them. Keep that in mind, and more or less simple merchant. What do you offer? I get the feeling that it would be a little point in robbing you, so there's little hope that you could afford anything I have available. Please, I doubt you'd really be interested in what I offer. Your words have a sting of truth. My funds are indeed limited. Here's a bit of free advice for you. If at some point your situation improves, I know of someone that you might want to speak with. His name's Holt, and he can be found in the South Gate. If you grow, shall we say, tired of the poor equipment the army of issuing new recruits these days, I've already met him. Even if I wanted to right now, there's little point. In the future, however, I thank you for your advice. Good day. Okay, thanks. Do, do, do. Hello. Greetings! What's new? The situation is more desperate. Blah. Okay. You have anything? Uh, I'm new around here. What's the news? Bailey off limits. The a who have been patrolling the south gate. We'll be ready for them. Oh, here's the blacksmith. Good. I need to talk to him. Bum, 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 bum. Hello, what can I do for you? I spoke with Lucan in the Southgate Armory. He suggested I ask you if you received any fine steel recently. Did he now? He's always bothering me about what I'm shipping off to him these days. But he knows as well as I do there's not a damn thing I can do about it. I've got pig iron to work with, that's it. I may be one of the best swordsmiths to come out of a Elithria, but no amount of training is going to turn pig iron into breastplates and blades. Now, if you want a horseshoe or maybe a nice set of cookware, that I could do. In a couple more weeks, though, you won't need horseshoes since the horses will be going into the cookware. You mean we're going to eat them all? <laughs> I said good day, sir. I'm sure that it won't come to that. How long has it been since your last shipment? By the spirits, too long. And there's nothing available around here, nothing at all. Sure there is. Feel like raiding an Alhul camp by your lonesome? Not without a fine steel blade like those crafted by you. Eh, good one. Point to you, kid. Okay, listen up then. There's some in the village outside the south gate. I know there is. I've been trying to get Mudam to send some of his scouts out to do a bit of looking for me, but he says he's got, he's got too few boys to get them killed on a damn treasure hunt, barely a sneeze away from an Ahul army. He's got a point, but I know the steel is there. Go on. Think of it like this. You're stuck inside a fortress, an enemy a camp outside. What becomes the most important thing they've got? Food, I guess, and weapons? Very good, kid. Weapons and that gold in your purse. How's it going to help you survive? It's not like my purse is overly full, but it's not. You got to be alive and to spend gold. And so when your life's in danger, the things you can keep keep you alive become more valuable than gold. Follow me, kid. Food is more valuable than gold right now. And so is fine steel. I follow. In the village, there's this fellow and he had more than a few pretty pennies jingling in his pocket. He also had more than a few brains in his skull, too. He knew he was living in a war zone, but then wars can make a fellow rich. Living outside Avalon, though, would keep him fairly safe. If the Ahul ever came back, he'd just get inside the walls with everyone else. But if that happened, well, what good would his money be? Not, I guess. Good kid. At least they're nodding at the right places. Anyway, food spoils, steel doesn't. So he put a lot of his money into steel bars, figuring he could use them to get whatever he needed, spend them just like gold if necessary. 
Of course, he didn't figure that the army confiscating most of them when the Ehu reappeared, but not all. I'd swear he hid some of it in the houses in the village. He was smart, like I said, the army couldn't have taken them all, and the thing is, he never made it behind the walls. He never said, he never left the village. I figure he made some stupid attempt to get the hidden steel before he came inside and got himself dead for his trouble. Greed went out over his brains at exactly the wrong time. And that's where the treasure hunt comes in. You want a good sword? I'll get you a good sword if you give me the steel. Or just get me a bar of it and the location of the rest. With proof the military types should agree to go sneak out the rest. They have brains enough to know that we need everything we can get our hands on. I hear the village is the safest place to be. I don't suppose you could draw me a map? Isn't the safest place. You'll get no treasure maps from me, kid. He had a few houses, rented them out, and I couldn't even lead you to them. With the village the way it stands, or rather it doesn't, which is the point. You can do it, though. You've always fancied yourself a hero type, right? Hardly. All I can promise is this. If I ever make it into the village, I'll keep my eyes open, mostly for a hool. I'll admit, but also for that steel of yours. Good boy. I'm not a child. Stop calling me boy and kid. All right, soldier spirits be with you. And you. <laughs> uh. Yes, I am a uh, middle-aged soldier man, okay? I may be level one, but I am not a kid. Horsies. He's got a fancy hat. It's a nice hat. Can I talk to you? Treacy. Good day to you, your lordship. What do you do here? I am a groom, sire. I tend to the officer's mounts, that is, while we still have horses to ride. A sobering thought, that. Oh, well. Calandrian. Go away and leave me to my business. <laughs> Sorry, my lady, I didn't mean to intrude. I apologize. I've been a bit snappish lately. Nevertheless, I do not want company right now. Well, yours, anyway. I understand. Good day to you, then. <laughs> Rude. Nothing here. Okay. <sighs> I'm glad you're enjoying it, Ultima Phoenix. Sorry, I haven't been peeking at chat as often as I usually do. Well, there's a lot of reason reading. No horsies to click on. I think we're almost to some exciting stuff. Uh, right. Um, the gate could come under assault. Uh-huh. Yeah, I need to leave, I think. I think I need to go. Oh, this was the guy that sells some stuff. I need to go, but I wasn't able to go, so maybe I can now. He doesn't want to buy his shield. I guess not. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Middle-aged soldier boy. Yes. <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna go back in and uh, report what I've found, I guess. Maybe I can get into this important looking area now. Kilgore! Hello, hello! I suppose you've played this before, Kilgore. Um, wait, it's, it's the other level. Am I allowed? No. Do, 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 do. Outer keep two, and then I think this room had important people in it. You did not play it. Oh, wow. Uh, General Roth is who I'm looking for. Huh. 
Hello there! Hello that, my name is Kiner. I was a good friend of your brother. Pleased to meet you. Were you with the search party? Yes, I was. We searched the village and found nothing but vor worms. We ended up killing quite a few before we left. There was no sign of him. I'm sorry, but we saw no trace of him. A battle had been fought recently just south of the old wizard's tower, but there's no telling who or what did the fighting. Could have been anything. Thank you for looking. It's the least I could do. Your brother saved me from losing my leg once, and I have yet to repay the favor. Certain that you shall have your chance. Good day to you. The name is Egr Egris. Were you a friend of my brother? Can't say that I was. I just volunteered to get out of the citadel. I see. Did you see anything out there? A lot of vorworms and a bunch of tracks outside the old church. I reckon the vorworms are feeding on the dead. Ooh, kind of tracks. Who knows? Could be human. Could be a hool. All I know is something we've been on the uh, go going on in the old church. I'd keep away from there if I were you. Really? Thanks for the advice. Hello there, boy. My name is Baldulf, the ferocious and the terrible. <laughs> Hello. Do you know my brother? Know him? He and I were bunkmates when we were in re new recruits. That's why I insisted to go along and search for him. Did you have any luck? Sorry to say, but we had none. We saw neither hide nor hair of your brother. It's good news, though. The Alhul doesn't take prisoners. So if he'd run into them, the only thing we'd have found is his body. That's how we know the Alhul didn't find him. Do you think he's still alive, then? Maybe he is, maybe he isn't. There are other things out there besides Alhul, you know. We saw signs of a great beast around the library. We didn't venture inside, though. Could have been anything. I wouldn't go there unless I had a whole fist of warriors with me. Thank you for trying, Baldoof. You're welcome. May your brother come back to us healthy and ready to slay a thousand Ahul. May he indeed. Good day to you. You would be Corvus's brother. I'm sorry for your loss. What can I do for you? I received some news from Callum at Southgate, sir. My brother has been seen escaping through the village outside Avalon. I know. These three knights were part of a search party and I went that went out looking for him. They have just returned with their report. What's the news then, sir? They went out into the village and hunted alone. They found signs of a battle, but there was no sign of your brother anywhere. As you may know, the Ahul aren't known to take prisoners. If your brother had been killed, his body would have been somewhere in the village. Therefore, we suspect he is still alive. Are you still looking for him, sir? The disappearance of General Overon's force has left the garrison depleted, and the Shaul are showing signs of great activity. At this time, we can ill afford any more men lost, especially over the life of just one soldier. I am sorry, son, but we can't risk any more of our forces searching for him. Take heart. He's an excellent survivor. If anyone can make it back to Avalon alive, it's Corvus. I would take your permission to search for my brother, sir. I see. Confidentially, I was hoping that you would say something like that. I believe something can be arranged. I will transfer you to Mudum's command. He is the master of scouts, and from him, you may gain orders to search outside Avalon. However, are you sure you want to do this? It is a very dangerous outside... Avalon. The Ahul have increased their patrols ever since Overon's troops left. Yes, sir. I won't rest until I know my brother's fate. Very well. Take this letter to Mudum and get his approval. I hope you've taken your training seriously. It's about to become very important to you. Thank you, Sir Roth. I won't let you down. No member of your family ever has, son. Good luck to you. Good luck to you, sir. Wow. Chen Chenny. Now, if only I could remember where that guy is. <laughs> okay. Yep. 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 Ooh, uh, return, return a bar to him. My General Roth. Yeah. Okay. I can fast travel if I click on known areas in the transition map. Oh, really? The room is, is room is at the opposite end of the Western corridor. Okay. I don't, I don't know what you mean about fast traveling because there's no clickies on here. So is he over here? Western end. I mean, that is the western end. Yep. 
The opposite end of the western corridor. Oh, oh, oh. Up here. Huh. If you later go down the stairs, the map pops up. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. But there's a, so far, there's only been one location to travel to, I think, right? Oh, let's see if I can get more spells. I was wondering if you have time to train me in some of those advanced techniques you mentioned. Ooh, what would you like instruction in? Ooh, here we go. Flame spell. Okay, I have five points. Magecraft. Perception, mysticism, and recharge rate would be all my points. I think I want the heal spell. If you ever get wounded in combat, and it's a depressingly regular occurrence, I'm afraid. You will have two choices. Wrap a dirty bandage around the wound and hope the bleeding ceases, or use a heal spell and be instantly whole. Not much of a choice, I should think. Does this sound like something you would know how to cast? Yes. All right. Um... Flame, frost, or energy management. Or recharge rate. I like recharge rate. We'll be back for more, though. We'll definitely be back for more. When you go to the area transition map, you can go to different locations. Okay, I'll try it. I need to look for... Is he... end of the western corridor to Sir Roth. Maybe this is the western corridor. Did I just walk right by him before? Hello? Hello? Oh, there you are. Hiding, huh? Huh? Well, what brought you here today? I have received a transfer of command from Sir Roth. I'm now officially to be one of your scouts. I'm afraid that I can't accept a rookie with no training to be a scout. Fortunately, however, I believe that I can fix that. Settle in, lad. First, a big secret to being a scout is keeping your damn head down. Hours pass. Well, now, do you feel like you've learned anything? <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you, sir. It was very informative. I'm glad to hear it, and I... I'd be happy to take you on as one of my boys. From what I've seen of you and from a thing or two I've heard, you'll make a fine addition. But why do you want to be a scout? Well, sir, I was hoping to get a chance to venture outside the Citadel. Now, why would you want to go outside Avalon? There have been more Ahul patrols recently. It's a hostile country out there. I know, sir. To be honest, I wanted to search the village for clues about my brother's disappearance. Ah, of course. I knew Corvus well. He was an excellent soldier, though perhaps I'm being a touch hasty in my, the, in the, using the past tense. If I were you, I suppose I'd want to know my brother's fate as well. You should know, however, that I've lost many scouts recently. As a result, we know very little about what's going on in the village. There have been sightings from Southgate of strange activity, but every time I've sent out a scout to look around, I've never, they've never returned. Are you completely certain this is something you're ready for? Absolutely, sir. Your confidence serves you well. I hereby officially accept your transfer and order you to search outside the Citadel. In addition to looking for your brother, you will be our eyes in the village. Be careful, though. It's dangerous and unknown territory out there. You should wait until sunset and then keep to the shadows. If you want to talk to someone who's knowledgeable about the terrain outside of Avalon, you should find Alon in the Outer Bailey near the merchants. If he will consent to speak with you, he would be the best source for information on happenings outside the wall. Thank you, sir. You will not be disappointed. Okay, maybe this will also let me go... Um, to nighttime for that other thing. Oops, that was not right. Whatever. <laughs> okay. Uh, hold on. So, okay, you guys are saying that if I go to one of these screens, I can. Oh, oh, oh! You can click on this. Wait. No, wait. Oh. 
Not all of it, but I can go to any of these. I don't really have many options right now, though. I mean, unless I want to go back to the basement, which I, I don't. But that's good to know. Okay. Outer Bailey. And then... Oh, wait, it's nighttime. Oh, let's go to the south gate. The south gate. Maybe those guards are gone and I can go in the basement. I'm very speedy, aren't I? Speedy. How come I can't... Where's the Bailey? It's not here. Anyway, whatever. Southgate. Okay. Damn, they're still there. Hmm. Fooey buckets. Okay. Oh, there it is. It's right here. Okay. Uh, anyway, there's somebody over here I'm supposed to talk to. Now it looks like Diablo. Yeah, outside it does look a bit like that. I bet it's this guy who was mean to me before. Never mind. You? Oh, this guy, yeah. How's things with you? Things are well, Olan. I don't know if you're aware, but my brother... That would be Lieutenant Corvus, I believe. Yes, actually, he... Went out on a raid with General Overon, which has since met with disaster. He was seen in the village being chased by Ehul and may still be alive. Yes, and you've been transferred to Murum's command and he's letting you out to scout the village all alone. You realize, naturally, that going out there alone is suicide, don't you? Then again, just as naturally, I realize telling you, telling that to people like you only convinces them to go. People like, uh, never mind. Do I want to know how you know all this? It's my job. And no, you probably don't want to know anymore. Did you actually have any news for me, or were you just looking for some information? Information, Mudum, suggested that you talk to me. I don't know whether it's gratifying or annoying that he still thinks of me. I don't suppose the army has given you your pay yet, or some sort of expense fund. Never mind, I can tell they haven't. Well, you'll not get any charity from me, but no charity. However, I could use a favor, and I always pay back my favors. What favor? Well, I have this friend who is a bit of a problem. She's nice and all, but there's not really anything I can do for her. Not in my area, you see, and certainly out of my league of all louts you see wandering around the Bailey. You, though, might be able to help. I know a lord, young though he may be when I see one. Young though he may the, he be when I see one. And what would this problem be, then? I'm afraid that is not really my tale to tell. If Pell decides she likes you, then she'll tell you. Otherwise, who is this Pell? A friend. She has a problem. That's all you need to know. If you feel like helping, she's watching the horses over that way. Go and talk to her. I'll consider this for a while. Good day. I guess the crickets were only over there by the... <laughs> by the wall. Okay. Um. Yeah, I remember seeing horses. Oh, they're back. Okay, must be up here. Oh, this must be she. I don't particularly feel like talking with anyone right now. I understand, lady, but Olin sent me over. He think he seems to think that I can help you with a problem of yours. Olin, finally. My name is Pelandrian, but please call me Pell. Well, you look capable enough anyway, even if you are a bit young. I have a long beard, and I am a middle-aged jeez whiz wizard. <laughs> I am not young. If you think my age or lack of it, if you think my age or lack of it rather would disqualify me from helping. No, no, I'm sorry. I did not mean it that way. Then perhaps you would be so kind as to inform me of the nature of this problem so I might decide if in fact I can be of assistance to you. Yes, you're nothing like he is, you know. I can almost feel the force radiating from you even with ma without magic. Whoa, slow down, lady. But him, if I don't pay attention, it's like he's not there. Insubstantial like a ghost of a man, but when I did pay attention. I'm afraid, lady, that I really do not understand what you are saying. Are you coming on to me right now? No, I suppose not. His name is Lauren, and he's the man I will wed. Does he know this? 
All in good time. He is a scholar, you see, a linguist, actually. Language is his passion, but stories set to music are his life. The tales he could tell, but for a long time now his tongue has been silent. His harp and flute are gone, and with them I think his soul. I wish you could have, se I wish you could have seen him as I first knew him. He was a quiet man, insignificant even, until you heard the music from his fingers and the words from his throat, and then only then could you see that his eyes and heart were far from empty. They were alive and vital, and I... Spirits help me, I... Oh. Fell in love. Yes, sometimes I can hardly think of a worse fate. You jest, lady. You are young, aren't you? I do not. I never learned exactly what befell him. But for as long as I've known him, he has been deathly afraid of magic. Ah, uh, maybe it's not such a good idea that I'm the one that rescues him. I do not understand what this has to do... With me, everything. I, sir, am Fox Norexen. And magic is in our blood. I am magical to my very core, and nothing can change that, not even love. I told him nothing, of course. Not a word of it. I just became his friend. We came to Avalon because... He wanted to study a language and culture of the Shaul. The siege then was not yet as total as it is today. But the journey through Orium was still dangerous as you'd expect. His heart was set, however, and I couldn't refuse. You see, as I had longed for many months, he had begun falling in love with me, and I was not going to abandon him then. Do not ask how I knew, for Naxons have ways. And it's worse, and worse came to worse. I thought I could defend us well enough. And you did, did it not, lady? Yes, perhaps Olin chose well in sending you to me. They came on us in the night, and Lauren was gravely wounded in the first assault. His harp splintered and flute crushed. As soon as I woke without thinking, I burned down the Ehu where he stood. It was those dozen savages that cost me everything, sir. When the killing was done, I turned to him. The horror in his eyes was sickening, but I thought it was from the attack. Then I stepped towards him, and he tried crawling away from me, away from me, with a shattered arm and blood leaking from chest and belly. He tried crawling away. I had to cast heal on him to get him to keep still so that I could heal him. <laughs> Thank you, Jelly. My love was suddenly afraid of me, sir. I can hardly imagine my worse, a worse fate. I see now. I am sorry. A patrol from Avalon found us. The amount of magic I had to unleash drew the attention of the wizards here. He recovered, but he would not talk to me. He would not even look at me. It has been months now since I have looked into his eyes. I sympathize, my lady, but what can I do to help? I have been watching him, of course. How could I do otherwise? And he has been changing, or his feelings have been. I cannot tell exactly how or why, though, and I cannot approach him directly. I would only scare him further, but most like, but you... You want me to talk to him and sound out his thoughts and feelings about you? Basically, yes. Subtlety will be required. He is far from stupid, and though he has a gentle nature, it does not seclude suspicion. I will do my best, my lady. This seems like a perfect use of my time. Thank you. You should be able to find him near the merchant's wagon just over there. Olin keeps an eye on him for me. I will return when I have news. Oh, he was the guy that didn't want to talk to anyone. Okay. Maybe the basement of South Gate will lead to a sewer level. <laughs> Please, I just want to be left alone. Forgive me for saying this, but you don't look like a man who should be alone. You look, in fact, like you're rather desperately thinking of being with someone. I, I am. And what would you know about it, boy? Being young, I will admit to being inexperienced. I will not. You have a point, I suppose. Nevertheless. Nevertheless, you look to be in pure misery. How can sharing your feelings with another make your fate worse? What a worse fate. I used to know someone who used an expression like that. There's no fate worse, she'd say. I never truly understood until very recently. You are thinking there's no fate worse than loving someone, are you not? Aye, there's no fate worse. As she joined the spirits, then. No, she hasn't. Rebecca. <laughs> Thank you, Zed Buffer, for gifting us up to Herbal Dance. Thank you. She's high. I could try to forget her and move on. I regret to say that she's here in Avalon, probably no more than ten minutes walk away. Mm. 
I think you're being a blasted idiot just standing here then. Go talk to her for spirit's sake. Tell her? No, no, I couldn't do that. Impossible can't be done. And why, pray tell, is it impossible? Because she saved my life and then I rejected her, damn you. Because I hated all things magical and she was a mage because I was an idiot. <laughs> well, there's no denying that certainly magic is just a tool as well as... You may as well hate a hammer. I know that. I was once a mage before. Never mind. Would you really think it's easy for the head to override the heart? And that night I lost everything that night, but it was not until recently that I learned the exact nature of the loss. And when I finally did, then I found love had stolen into my heart and her magical nature began seeming of less and less import. And are you such a coward that you could not just tell her that you were mistaken then? I regret that you speak of the truth, yes. Then, sir, I shall lend you my courage. This pal I mean to seek out, and uh, when I find her, I shall learn if you still remain in her heart. Seek? Have you taken leave of your senses? If she loves you, she will have little trouble telling me. And if she does not, she will have little trouble telling me why. An answer, friend, will then be yours. Thank you, Desi, for the resub. 12 months. Woo -woo. It's been a whole cheesy year. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I know, it's so dramatic. <sighs> my answer, aye, my answer. It would be good to finally have one, be it one way or the other. Palandrian is her full name, though she is loath to admit it. Too pretentious, she claims, but if you ask after her, you may need to use it. Pell, what I call her. Dearest Pell. Pell, on my honor, I shall seek her out for you, and we will know the heart of the matter. Until later, my friend, be patient a while longer. It shall take me one minute to get back there and one minute to return, and then you will have your answer. You have spoken with him. I spied you doing so by the merchant's tent. Tell me, what did he say? He loves you, lady, no question. Thank you, the spirits. Perhaps I've not ruined everything after all. He is also in pain, much like you, if you'll forgive me saying so, lady. Yes, perhaps that's what I've been sensing. I cannot, of course, speak to that. However, I can say that his feelings for you have at least tempered his aversion to magic. Did you know he was once a mage? Yes, though not directly from him. Did he by chance tell you why he abandoned the art? No. That, I think, is something I would dearly like to know, but the matter would be for another time, I suppose. So tell me, if he loves me, why did you not bring him with you? He is afraid, lady, of rejection, or perhaps that you would not forgive him of his foolish actions. He was always too willing to shoulder blame exclusively. Damn him! Does he not know that I kept my heritage desperately secret from him? The fault lies as much with me as it does him. Think you that I should approach without provoking a poor reaction? No, lady, I believe that would be a bad idea. Love has made him a coward before the thought of you, and I imagine were he to see you approach, he would again flee. Oh, good grief. It is a sad irony that in his instance he would be running from a pain of love rather than from any fear of you, but he would flee nonetheless. <sighs> and what then would you suggest? Truth be told, lady, I know not. It is a quandary. If you cannot approach him, then he must approach you, but he insists vehemently on that he cannot. He pur pur purports to see an answer, but in his heart I think he believes he already knows it. And it is that you hate him. You are saying, then, that even were you to tell him I love him still, he would not believe you? I'm afraid so, lady, yes. He has no confidence in anything any more, least of all himself. Then I am lost. No, lady, I will not surrender just yet. Even if he would not accept a report of your love, he would accept a report of your anger easily enough. And if he will not approach you to proclaim his love, perhaps I can guide him to approaching to beg your forgiveness. Know you already how to do this. I regret not. It is something that I shall have to consider carefully. Tread softly, friend. Our future rests in your hands. Have faith, lady. I will not fail. <laughs> this is the most complicated love quest I've ever done. <laughs> 
it's really simple. They both like each other. Just go, just go over there. Gone. <sighs> okay. <sighs> did you find her? What did she say? She remembers you, sir, but not with love. She remembers you with anger. Anger. I knew it. All along, I knew it. It's over then. I hope hell. Now, please bear in mind that this is merely what she told me, and yet I spoke with her. I didn't really sense anger. No, I sensed something different. Different? How can anything be different? Ma how can anything different matter? I think that of her, at her core, she is more hurt than angry, and that what she truly wants for you to go to her and ask, perhaps even beg her forgiveness. I think that would pierce the armor around her heart. Deep inside, she loves you, and if you dispel her anger and hurt, she will have no choice but to acknowledge her true feelings. You think that, do you? I think you do not know Pell very well. So you believe, then, that the woman you love would be so very unwilling to hear an apology from your lips. I don't know any more. All I know is that I cannot face her. Well, then perhaps if I, am, if I conveyed to her a token of your contrition... A token? I have nothing. Nothing? They who destroyed what little I carried with me to Avalon and everything else I possess isn't even in this nation. Besides, I don't believe Pell is to be shallow as to accept a trinket as a bribe for forgiving me. You misunderstand. A gift is a tribute, a mere sign of your feelings. It is no mere bribe, but something to show her that you would give her give of yourself on her behalf. Perhaps, but I still have nothing. I have a dried rose. It is a traditional gift and a rare find within these walls of a besieged keep. Pell likes the color red, and she truly, but she truly hates roses. I'm no bloody rose, she'll say. I suppose the color of her hair earned her that nickname, Rose, when she was younger, but I don't really know. Blue is her color, blue to match her eyes. I'll bet that she still dresses in it. From head to toe, am I right? No, it doesn't matter. I thank you for your efforts, but it is most certainly hopeless. It is most certainly not hopeless. You surrender too easily, friend. Rest assured that I will return with your gift for now. Farewell. Oh, good God. <sighs> How goes it with Pell? The problem lies with Lauren, not Pell. He refuses to believe that Pell would marry, merrily forgive him. I have him partially convinced that giving Pell a gift along with an apology might work, but neither he nor I have anything appropriate for a gift. I don't suppose you have any suggestions. I'm afraid that's also out of my area. Good works, well, for most of the women. Gold works. I typically deal with that, but Pell? I don't think so. With the Sea John, there's n not likely to be many items that would suit your needs unless you feel like taking to robbing bedrooms. I definitely would never do that. <laughs> no, that I will not do. There has to be something maybe in the village. Well, there was a large world outside the walls. I must assume that you mean the village immediately outside said walls. If so, you do realize that the Ahul have been looting it for months. Yeah, I know. I doubt there's a plenty, a pretty rock left, let alone anything valuable. But if not in the village itself, then perhaps the Ahul. You mean I should take to robbing corpses? Think of it as retrieving stolen property. Maybe. I doubt they'd have anything anyway. You can but try. As an incentive, here's a little more information for you. I happen to know that a few people have a, have a good knowledge of the village. Massus the Friar, for one, in the chapel, in the old wizard Elorath, inside the outer keep. Go talk to them before you head out. And if you haven't spoken to Pell about this gift, I'd also suggest you do so. I will. Thank you. Good day. I'm not done yet. There's a certain house in the village that I've interest in. I have it on good authority that for one reason or another it is relatively intact, and you won't be able to mistake it for any other house. There should be a chest inside that is magically locked. I need to know if the chest is actually there, and if it's intact. Got that? Yes, well, uh, when I know more, I shall return. Hmm. Well, uh, wh okay. Robbing corpses in the name of love. Yeah, to me that's just looting, which I see nothing wrong with <laughs> Uh, okay, so um, I I know I talked to Elorath already, but I'm not sure if I talked to the Friar guy recently. But it looks like we're pretty much set to leave. Which is nice. Um, let me see if I got that quest from Masha. 
page one of two. Oh. Mm -hmm. Um, maybe I didn't. I know I got some info. Mm. Hmm. <sighs> okay. Well, let's go and talk to them again, just in case. Oops. And then we're going to have to stop streaming. <laughs> And then it is my lunch break. Uh, where is the doorway? Is it right here? How's the combat in this game? Um, it's a bit like, I guess it's, a, I guess it's like Diablo kind of, pretty much like that. Okay. Um, I don't remember where. Oh, can I go in here now? No, I cannot. Okay. Friar is. That's the medical ward. But Elorath is over here. The combat reminds me more of Divine Divinity, but um, I haven't really got into it too much yet. Yes, here we go. I'm going on a mission to the village soon. I was told by Olan, the uh, merchant, that you knew something about the village. Let's see. The village is built on the ruins of an ancient city. When we first arrived, we took what stone we needed to build Avalon from the ruins. Now they are an elaborate underground network that is virtually abandoned. However, I would be surprised to learn that they are currently inhabited by numerous animals, or perhaps even more exotic creatures. Is that all you remember? No, I'm pretty certain that... Oh, wait! There is something else. I've actually been trying to recover a valuable artifact from the village for some time now. It's an amulet that is needed to re in my research. I'm doing on an ancient, uh, certain portal. Elazar had the amulet last, but it was lost when he abandoned his tower. The tower itself is magically sealed, but the amulet is believed to have been lost when the court carrying much of Elizar's research broke an axle and spilled its contents onto the ground while passing through the village. The amulet should still be on the ground near the broken cart. I will see what I can do. Thank you for your kindness, lad. With the amulet, hopefully I will be able to fully open the portal. I will await your return. Great. Um... Ooh, I got more training points again. Flame. Oh, the flame spell. It's a classic in this profession. This spell does not moderate amounts of damage to your target. The stronger you are in mysticism, the more damage the spell inflicts. And the faster the ball of flame will travel. Does this sound like something you would like? Yes, it does. I guess I'll save my final points. I have two training points. Ooh. Charm. Charmed, I'm sure. Oh, that takes two. Okay. Costs two training points to raise your mysticism. Yeah. Mysticism, mage, go! Hooray! Um, right, and then the other guy might be here-ish. No, no. I think I, he's on. He's on the other level. You like Divine Divinity? Yeah, that game is amazing. All right, uh, let's go to the 
level one. I think maybe uh, the the friars are like over here somewhere. Anything? Oh crap! I can't get there from here. Divine Divinity is definitely a game I want to replay at some point on stream. It's just so cool. And then I want to play Divinity 2, which is also awesome. I've never finished that game. But it is really cool. Alright, are you the guy I need? Yes. Uh, I, th I understand you lived in the village outside Avalon. Indeed, I lived there for a few short years before they who ran us away from our church. I'm going on an expedition there soon. Olan the Wall, the Olan the Well Merchant, said you might be able to provide me with some useful information about the village. Olan told you this? You must have been mistaken. I kept mostly to the church, and from what I've seen from the walls, there's little left in the village I knew. There's nothing at all you could tell me about the outside. I may not be able to help you, but you are certainly in a position to help me. What can I do? During the evacuation of the village, a minor artifact was left behind. Until recently, it has not been of much concern. The church still stands, and I'm sure it remains safely hidden in the cellar. However, in the last little while, some of the more pious and superstitious of the peasants have started to believe that the loss of the Chalice of Life was foretelling of our actual defeat. I will do everything I can to recover it, Friar. There's no telling what may have taken up residence in the old church. It will be dangerous, but if you wish to try, we will pray for your success. I will do my best, Brian. Okay, I already actually knew about the old church. I, I'm just gonna go and like, you know, um, uh, I'm just gonna go and basically go look at everything. Do 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 rumors. All right. Is it the new Baldur's Gate like Divine Divinity? <clears throat> no, they're completely different. Um. Okay, I think we have most of the quests that we could possibly get at this point. Followed pretty much all of my leads. South Gate, level one. I want to check if we can go to the basement. How are we going to get into the basement? That's what, I do. That's what I don't know. All right. And then, uh, wah, wah, wah. we could do, um, let's just start. So here, uh, time to go. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> weird font. Village time save. But yeah, apparently I'm supposed to be able to get down there. It must be just like a timed thing, though. They're letting me go. Ooh. I'm no bloody rose indeed. <laughs> okay, so here's our quest. We need a blue thing for, uh, for um, Pell. <clears throat> we need right underground tunnels. Uh, Elrath is searching for some portal, something for him. Chalice of Life. Yeah. Fruit. That was the first quest we got. Fruit of an herb that grows in the orchard in the village. Steel for Freeman the blacksmith. Unusual things. Blue thing for Pal. Um, mostly intact house and ascertain the condition of a locked chest. And then Elrath is missing the relic. Chalice. Okay. Lots of stuff to do. Is this, um... Oh, right. I was gonna go here and 
So charge, we'll do two is fireball, three heal, four hold. Okay. There is no music. Oh, the village is right here. Oh my god, this series of stones. That's really screaming Diablo. All right, well, this place is... Oh! Oh, hi! Shaul Scout. Oh, they're like weird-looking people. All right, well, this guy's gonna... He's gonna die. Oh, yeah! Fireball! Ooh, a glowing diamond ring. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> what? Oh. Mysticism, combat, and stealth? Dang, soon. All right, cool. Well, I killed my first Shaul guy. Took a lot of my mana, but it's not bad. Fire always works. I don't suppose there's a quick save. I'm gonna do, uh, can I overwrite this? Let's make a just in case save. Who are you? You're a scout as well. Um, why can't I hit you? Oh, I did hit him. And he's dead. Okay. Hard leather vest. My inventory is going to fill up real quick. You know, these, I, ooh, I thought I would have a lot harder time. <laughs> uh, but I suppose these are just like the new, the little baby enemies. Okay. Uh, three to ten, cutting. Okay, this one's better. Not gonna take everything. Yeah, the character's appearance changes. Every every single item I have equipped has is showing up, which is really, really cool, I think. La, 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 la. Get up. <gasps> Whoa, he had a, a worn double-bladed axe and another scimitar. I don't know if these things are going to be worth anything. Uh-oh, I ground, <laughs> ground. I kind of want that because I haven't found that yet. Fountain. U4, you mean Ultima 4? I haven't played any Ultima games. Ooh. Ah! Ah! What's he what's my heal? Three. Whoa, that was close. Holy moly potato. Okay, that guy was a lot stronger. <laughs> Piece of tanned hide with unknown writing on it. Needs to, who needs to, a linguist? Okay. Well then. I shall have a linguist. Translate it. I wish to cast my spell. I cannot. I don't have the mana. 
Need more mana points. So that guy was, uh, oh, Uncharted 4? No, I haven't played that yet either. <laughs> Can I heal yet? There we go. No. Okay, this is a nothing, and, uh... Nothing and a nothing, and... Uh... We need some more mana regen, don't we? Definitely. I have more training points again. Ooh. Maybe I should put some into uh, Constitution. Is this a way down? It's very silent. Oh, la, I found some plants. Yeah. She's currently sleeping still, so. I am okay on that front. Are you just the puny guy? Oh god, he's hurt. He's hurt me. The first guy didn't hurt very much. Oh no! <laughs> oh no. Awards and titles. Ooh, cool. I missed... Wow. Really? Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, I hit him that time. <gasps> there we go. A bookler. Don't think we need any of that. It's a very quiet night. That's a Sha'uld guy. There's the oh, and that's a what the hell is that? I don't. I, I have no idea. <laughs> okay, time to make another save. He was easier. What? Mer swag Merc swag Merc mer squag. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Oh. Ooh. And the old cheesy doorway strat. My favorite. Oh, did I just heal the... There we go. I thought I just healed the stupid guy. Woo, that was dangerous. A brown Cthulhu. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. There's going to be a lot of saving in this playthrough. Back to the doorway, Strat. Really? I still don't have enough? Come on. Whoop. Okay. <laughs> okay. Did I get them all? <gasps> Did I get them all? They, none of them have any loot. 
are guarding this. Oh dear. Um, a healing herb. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Got a little bit unlucky there on my hitting. Oh, nice. They're really stupid. That is definitely going to work in my favor. <laughs> Very nice. Yes. <laughs> I definitely need to spend training points on like actually having mana. Definitely gonna put some in there, I think. Plus two training points, two training points. Cost four for another point in that. Ooh. Twelve mana a minute. Eleven mana a minute. Oh. Wow, it just gives me one more point. I think it's still worth it. Hopefully. I I sure hope it is. Come on. There we go. <laughs> Just waiting for my mana. What? Oh, God. Aha! If you manage to click on them properly, the charge bolt does follow them. So that's good. Did I get this whole thing? Yeah. All right. Anything else back here? No. It is hard to click on them properly, though. Yeah, it is pretty difficult. Okay, so I can trans... Oh, I can... Okay, uh, I'm not done yet. I'm not done. I didn't... I don't know if I feel good about that search that I did. Up here... And I think actually I might not proceed just yet. But I guess it's not that surprising that there is not really anything to loot in this first area. Is that a th is that something? No. Ooh. I should probably go back into town and sell the stuff I got so I can continue. Do I have the freedom to do that? I hope so. Seems that I do. Okay. Outer Bailey. Yeah. One of these guys was a merchant, right? Uh oh. Um, maybe not. Have you learned anything about the house I asked you about? Yes, I found it. Is the house intact? Why would I lie about this? No, it wasn't? Then you didn't find the right house. Okay. All right, yeah. Yeah, you're right, yeah. I haven't found the right house. You're totally correct. Okay. Uh, this guy sold stuff.
Okay, uh, fur line boots. Sell. Sell. Oh, those are not worth anything. Okay, that's good to know. You can have them anyway, I don't care. Scroll with unknowns thingies on it. Yeah, a glowing diamond ring. Yeah, we're collecting these. I actually just, I don't need this dagger. I don't know why I'm keeping it. You can have it. Okay. Five crowns. Uh, village time. Okay, this is going to be where we end today's morning stream. Half an hour late because it's just sometimes, sometimes it just happens where there's a fun game and I just never want to stop playing it. And this is one of those games. And also, like, it took it took three hours to just get to the action. But I think this is going to be a lot of fun. So I'm going to play some more of this on Thursday morning I think yeah Thursday morning um and tonight's stream after my lunch break we'll be playing more gothic 2 but um yeah if you want to buy this game for yourself you can get it on GOG the whole anthology and uh if you use my link it does support the channel thank you very much for doing so if you do and I, I just think it's a really fun RPG. I'm, I'm kind of upset that I had never heard of it before. But if I would have played this when I was younger, I'm pretty sure that I, like, would have got stuck right away and not have, <laughs> and wouldn't have been able to get very far. Because <laughs> it does seem like one of the. It's got so much dialogue. I think back when I was younger, I would have just been like blah 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 whatever whatever and just not paid attention to half of it. So it's probably good that I'm playing it now instead. <laughs>